How have you helped Kelvin kind of with his transition into your old position and how do you think he'll do with it? Is he built for that spot? Yeah, I don't, I don't think Kelvin needed, he didn't need much help. Um, you know, and, and there, was, there was a few things in the beginning that, um, that I may have, you know, kind of relayed to him and he may have bounced some things off of me. But, you know, at this point in time, I mean, he's got, he's got this thing up and running and you guys can see, um, you know, just in, in the recent weeks with, with some of the, the success we've had recruiting wise that, you know, I don't, I don't think that there's much of a, um, much of a difference between the two of us. I mean, it's, it's really this program, the way it's built, um, the way we've always recruited. You know, it's just, you know, Kelvin and his leadership and, you know, his, his instruction to our staff in, in terms of the way that, that we maneuver through it. Globally, uh, recruiting expenses have skyrocketed in the last three to four years. What did you see the changes, uh, not just territorial, but necessarily what, what technological or, or those types of changes have made this that have allowed those expenses to grow for everybody, not just in Iowa? There's... <clears throat> There's there's a lot more, a lot more vendors involved in recruiting now. Um, there's a lot more experts. There's a lot more um, people out there that are selling to to us as a staff to universities across the country that they can minimize, you know, the the workload, you know, so to speak. They can start to pare it down for you, which it is helpful, you know, because there is a lot out there. Now we're a little bit different. We don't recruit nationally. Um, you know, we, we have our areas, we have our niches, that's where we go to find guys. Um, you know, so we're not, we're probably not spending, you, you, you guys have access to all of it, we're not spending what maybe other programs are spending. Because um, we do things a little bit differently and, and we are not, you know, taking private flights out to, to California and back. We're not sending coaches all over the country to, you know, we're, we're dropping into the areas that we're most familiar with. Now, within those areas, if we can find technology, if we can find folks um, that are experts in those areas, you know, then then we'll you know we'll, we'll jump on and, and hook up with their services, which we have been. We just don't you know we don't do it you know like everybody else does. How much of that is trying to be cost effective? <clears throat> um, I, I would say I would say a good deal of it. You know, it it, it is cost effective. I mean, you can. <laughs> you can, you know, you, you've got you've got choices. You can spend it that way, or you can have a room full of ten guys that are in, the, you know, in in behind the the wall behind you that are, you know, watching tape and they're trying to narrow it down for you. So to me, it it's all about how you spend your money. Do you spend your money paying those folks to do that, or do you spend your money with, you know, maybe a service that you trust that can can help pare it down a little bit.